So I've heard you wanted to get into salvaging because it's a great way to make a quick coin. Let me tell you what to do. First, you need a salvaging kit. There are over a dozen, so that's easy. Then you need gear. That can also be food. And consumables. But everything has a different drop rate. It can be level based, weight based, rarity based, salvage kit based. You lost yet? Let's try to start from the beginning and keep it simple by focusing on gear. First, salvage kits have a rarity grading system the same way gear does. It goes from basic all the way to ascended. And your first instinct, which would be to salvage gear of a given rarity with a kit of the same rarity, isn't that far off the mark. You can follow the corresponding table as a rule of thumb. Anything below or at Masterwork Rarity goes through the basic salvage kit. Rare and exotic gear is salvaged with a Master Salvage Kit. And finally, Ascended gear goes through an Ascended Kit that you can get in the Fractal Lobby. But just like there are rules, exceptions lurk in the shadows. While these kits work fine in a day-to-day -day casual gaming scenario, there exists some optimization. First of all, replace all basic kits with a Copperfed salvage matic Then, salvage your Masterwork gear with the Runecrafter kit to take advantage of the upgrades, be it runes or sigils, that are slotted within. And finally, make yourself some Mystic salvage kits or opt for the slightly better Silverfed salvage matic to go after that shiny rare gear. There also exists some specific cases where the Black Lion Salvage Kit, dropped from the Black Lion Chest, does better than the Master Salvage Kit. And that's namely, when the exotic piece of gear has an expensive rune or sigil embedded within. Then comes the question of salvaging for profit. This requires you to take your thinking a step further. Since you know what comes out of the items you salvage, and you know the rates at which they come around, you have the tools to handpick which items are going to give you more than the salvaging and item costs. However, you must keep in mind that just like any form of massive item processing, the results average out. You might not make lots of gold from salvaging 100 items, instead shoot out for the thousands of actions. As for upgrade extraction, we will see this in another video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. With all this said and done, you now have the basics to go out there and get as rich as the big boys. If you have any question, the comment section is right here for you, and if you like this video or learned something from it, you can reward it with a like or by subscribing. Only a few of my viewers are actually subbed, and numbers do mean a lot here. Finally, if you want to learn the actual side of things, check me out over at Patreon, I have a lot of finds available for only one dollar. And now, I wish every single one of you some happy trading and to get rich.